hello good morning welcome to my channel my name is violet color Cham, and i want to wish you a merry Christmas and a prosperous new year and i want to say thank you to all those that have been watching and sharing this video and please if this is your first time of watching please subscribe so that you get notifications when new videos are posted all right guys thank you so much so today i'll be doing a video on the use of imatarid in planning planning is actually a silent station and is usually 15 minutes okay so now let's go into the use of imatarid e there is for explain now for everything you do for a patient irrespective of the status of the patient whether the patient is conscious or is an unconscious or is an unconscious patient you have to explain so the first one is e explain and discuss all aspects of care to mrs c and gain consent for all intervention. That is a priority because whatever you are doing for a patient, you have to gain consent. So irrespective of the nursing problem you have, you have to explain and discuss all aspects of care to Mrs. C and gain consent for all intervention. Tick. In fact, you don't need to change that one at all. That is constant for any nursing problem you are dealing with. And the next one is M. M is for monitor. Monitor and record patient vital signs. Now, let's give a scenario. Maybe a patient is having a new score of three, and we all know when a patient is having a new score of three, we're going to be monitoring hourly, right, guys? Yes, yeah, so we monitor hourly. So now let's assume the patient is Mr. A. So monitor and record Mr. A vital sign every hourly and escalate as per news 2 policy. Tick. All right. So let's now assume the patient is having a GCS score. Is a GCS patient, so monitor and record Mr. A G C S score according to NICE policy or according to the trust policy tick, or monitor and record Mrs. A mood using the PHQ-92, or monitor and record Mrs. A nutritional status using the most to. So it's a tick. It falls in. Whatever you want to do, it actually falls in. Monitor and record patient vital signs. And the next one is A. A is to assess or assist. It depends on which you want to use. A is to assess. Now, if you're having a patient whose nursing problem is pain, you can say assess Mr. A for pain using the pain assessment too. It's a big tick or you're having a nursing problem of a patient who has asthma you can write assess patient breathing pattern assess mr a breathing pattern is also a big tick or maybe your nursing problem is activity intolerance you can also write assess mr a for activities of daily living or assess and assist Mr. A in carrying out activities of daily living. Is a tick, or probably is a patient who the nursing diagnosis is a risk for four. You can also write assess patient for four using four assessment two. Or is a patient who is about going in for surgery, you can write assess pre-operation checklist. Or is a patient who is out for surgery, you can write assess post-operative sites. It's a big tick, or maybe it's a patient who you are dealing on pressure areas. You could write assess pressure areas. So the A there is to assess or assist, and that is so easy if you use imatarid in your nursing care plan. And the next one is T. T is to teach, maybe you are dealing on pain, teach Mr. A deep breathing exercise. Yes? Or teach Mr. A pain relief e.g diversional therapy repositioning tense and deep breathing exercise you have to teach the patient something and there is a lot to teach there is a lot to teach the patient you can teach the patient the use of a um, what do they call it? You can teach the patient the use of the breathing exercise. You can teach the patient pain reliefs like diversional therapy, watching of TVs, reading of novels. You know, you can teach the patient mind exercises to do. Yes, you can teach all that to the patient. And the next one is 
A. A is actually towards administer. Now, when we administer medications to patients, it is important for us to also monitor the effectiveness of the medications that have been administered. So, administer all prescribed medication to Mr. A and monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes. That is constant. Tick! It's so easy using imatarine. And the next one is what? Arrow. Arrow stands for what? Referral. Refer Mr. A to pain management team. Yes, if your nursing problem is pain and the patient is really having pain, you have to refer the patient to pain managed team. If it's an asthmatic patient, you have to refer that patient to respiratory team. And if it's a patient who has any disability or a patient who has osteoarthritis, you have to refer the patient to the OT slash the PT. OT is occupational therapy and physiotherapy. And if it's a patient who is going for surgery, you have to refer the patient to the surgical team. And if it's a patient who has issues with uh, pressure areas, you have to refer the patient to the tissue viability team. And if it's a patient who is already on end of life or a patient who is dying, you have to refer the patient to the palliative team or the end of life team. If it's a patient who is not eating well, maybe a patient for months, you can refer the patient to what? To a dietitian. Is that what? Easy. And the next one is I. I is to instruct, inform, inform patients to use the call bear. Yes, because um, in this part of the country, you can precisely, um, when a patient needs anything, you have to make sure the way the patient could, you know, reach you is always there. So you have to always leave the call bear with the patient. So inform patients to use the call bear. Or you can even use it there, educate patients to use the call bear. Another one there is I, which is inform or instruct. But guys, to be honest, I like using inform because I feel instruct is is uh, is harsh. It's like um, telling the patient or I, I just feel instruct is not respectful to me. You understand? You could use instruct patient to use the call bear. But me, I like using inform patient to use the call bear or educate patient to use the call bear. And the next one is D. When you are done with all your care for the patient, you have to document all care planned so simple using imatarate so that's how simple imatarate is so guys use imatarate for your nursing care plan if you don't know about it before or if you know about it use it it's so simple and it's so easy so thanks for watching uh merry Christmas once again and a happy new year to all and um, endeavor to share this video and subscribe as well thanks guys bye